Well, you know, smoking has has a, a very definite downside uh, in more ways than one. Economically, any anybody, I mean, what a waste. Burning, I mean, take take your sixty dollars a week and just light a fire to it, okay? Because that's all it's doing. You're just burning up the money that you're spending, and and cigarettes, from what I understand, are like really expensive. So, uh, you know, people shouldn't complain about lack of money if they're going to be smoking, but then we get into the, the, the health issues, um, and regardless of how much debate there is, you're going to find that smoking is one of those things that you really need to cut out. Uh, now, I'm, I happen to have Native American heritage, and smoking is very much a part of our heritage, okay? But our smoking was more... <clears throat> a uh, establishment of pact and listing with people, we didn't just sit around and smoke all the time. And so we didn't have health issues caused by smoking, but these people that are, you know, chained back and forth, okay, they're looking, they're looking for trouble. And, and it's going to kill them sooner or later. It's going to kill them one way or the other. It's going to kill them. There's no way around it. Um, I, I thought it was really cute. Um, once when my son and I were traveling and we were in, and I will not name the country, but we were visiting another country and we were there for like three months and they kept taking my son out to smoke hookah. And they said, oh, no tobacco, no tobacco, it's, you know, it's not addictive, you don't have to worry, it's all right, don't worry. Um, and he, he was uh, 13, 14 years old at that time. Yeah, I, I trusted him. My son was addicted. And when we got back stateside, there was no hookah. It ended up cigarettes. So even what they say is, you know, the hookah is not addictive, I question that. Uh, there's, there's different things that, that make addiction too easy in, in too many ways. And, we need to avoid all of that. Uh, I, I'm not going to speak against smoking this part of ceremony because of my own heritage. I won't do that. But smoke, smoking and the, the, the loss of, of health, uh, the loss of financial well-being, um, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense as a Muslim and as a human being. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And I think we need to... Well, I wish the government would actually do more programs that helped people to quit smoking. And that's something we're lacking, are programs that actually will assist the people, that really work at helping the people quit smoking. Do you think that mosques could establish support groups, perhaps, or do other things? Mosques should establish support groups Yes, um, but a lot of Muslims that smoke are embarrassed to go public that they smoke because there is such an outcry against them and people yelling haram alayk, astaghfirullah alim, uda billah, and all of this instead of actually offering help and they're saying, just quit, just quit. And it's not that easy. It's not easy to quit smoking and they need help to quit smoking. Um, I mean, sometimes they may need medical help to quit smoking, but they need support and they need help. Mm -hmm. And no, we're not getting it in any of the masjids that I know of. Mm -hmm. We get condemnations and criticism and judgment. And, you know, somebody who's been smoking in secret isn't going to go forward because they're going to be condemned and everything. Did you know that so-and-so is smoking a pack and a half a day? Which, which isn't helping. But we need to set up programs to help each other and not just other Muslims. We should be the center of any effort that improves the health of, of human beings in any way. So our, our smoking cessation programs should reach beyond Islam and Muslims, but to all people. And the same thing with, with heart and cancer and everything else. We don't limit ourselves to just the Muslim because we're not responsible just for Muslims. We are responsible for every human being. 
and we need to step up now and, and take over our responsibility, do our job as Muslims. Okay, is that enough? <laughs>